Hey guys, welcome back to Mad About Skin. It is that time of the year again when the biggest Korean skincare retailers release their best sellers list. I always look forward to reading these lists because I'm always intrigued to see what people are buying for their own skincare routines. However, as I always say on the channel, best selling doesn't always mean best performing. So every 12 months, I like to sit down, share these lists with you and talk about my thoughts, feelings and opinions to each and every product mentioned. Sit back, relax, let's rate the best selling Korean skincare. Now, before we get into this video, I would of course love to know your own opinions on any of the products mentioned in today's video. Okay, some of them might not be my personal favourites, but that doesn't mean you have to stop using them in your skincare routine. All you need to do is type in the comment section below and let me know your interpretation and the results that you've got. Skincare really is situational and it's unique to each and every one of us, which is why I love to hear that conversation going on in the comment section. Whatever your thoughts on the products mentioned today, if you enjoyed this style of video, you know, the top 10s, looking at the bestseller list, let me know by reaching down and giving this video a big thumbs up and a like. I always want to create the content that you guys like consuming the most, so this is a great way of just telling me what you enjoy so I can then factor more of it into future filming schedules. Now, with all that out of the way, should we just cut that waffle and delve straight on in? So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the top six best-selling Korean skincare products, and I've merged these lists together that the biggest retailers have announced to come up with this list myself. If you'd like to see like a second part where we talk about some of the products lower down on this list, let me know because I would quite happily film that for you guys. Now, kicking things off, and I think this will come as zero surprise to anyone that's ever shopped Korean skincare, is the Cosrx Snail Mucin Essence. Now, this does actually have a ridiculously long name that I can never for the life of me remember so i have actually linked this product as well all the ones mentioned in the description box below so you've got the full name there save you having to google it all the links are there for your convenience but this is a product that i think has been the best seller in the korean skincare market here in the west probably for the past four or five years and people love it. It was fading in popularity say 18 months ago and then the whole viral thing on TikTok blew up. Everyone's loving this product and its sales have gone through the roof once again. They do different versions of it. The Essence is the best seller but they do a cream, they now do a snail mucin in an eye serum, they do it in a cleanser. There's so many different options and actually Cosrx would feature a lot more in this list. They're definitely the best selling brand but to kind of keep things fresh I've chosen just the best selling from each brand so we've not got too much repetition but Cosrx definitely leading the way. When it comes to this product so many people have been asking about it I actually filmed a separate standalone video which I'm going to leave a link to up there. Definitely recommend you check that video out before you buy this product because there are some things you need to know. In truth great for hydration I think it definitely adds a meaningful plumpness and juiciness to the skin and studies have shown that snail mucin over time can fade hide the pigmentation. All that is great, but just be mindful that if you're allergic to shellfish, dust mites or bed bugs, maybe give this, you know, give this a firm pass. That's because the allergy profile of snail mucin is very similar to those things. There's often a crossover. So just be mindful of that. And again, patch test thoroughly before you use it. But people do really like it. If you don't mind a little snail action in your skincare routine, you'll definitely get some results from that. Personally, I tend to reach for this, which is a snail-free alternative. This is the V Green Nature Mucin Toner. Now, personally, I don't live a vegan lifestyle, but I am always very conscious of the products that I use and the amount of animal ingredients that are in them. For me, snail is a bit of a firm pass for the reasons I documented in the video that I linked earlier. Does it mean that you guys have to abandon it? Absolutely not. But for me, I just prefer this. It, I feel the texture that little bit better. And this is actually derived from wild yam, which studies have shown give very similar outcomes in terms of results a snail mucin but without the snail it's more lightweight on the skin uh, I just think for me I get a little better hydration from this than I did from any of the Cosrx snail mucin products so again I'll link this if you want to try something that's snail free but if you want the original and the best selling and again Cosrx is where it's at so in second place we have a Korean sunscreen not a surprise because I think most of us started our Korean skincare journey with sunscreens and we all fell in love with the super lightweight formulations. The fact that they new use newer generation filters which often are better in terms of the broad spectrum protection that they give and feel less greasy on the skin. Um, the number two product is this. This is a Centella um, Hyaluronic Seeker Water Fit Sun Serum by Skin 1004. 
one of my personal favorites um, and I will say with this product um, again Skin 1004 would have multiple entries in this list but I've kept it to just the best selling of each brand and uh, like Cosrx a super popular brand this is lovely it feels gorgeous on the skin I like the pump it's a really really robust pump so anyone that likes a pump applicator with their sunscreen will enjoy this and uh, if you see how it goes onto the skin super calming soothing cooling and it's got that seeker that centella asiatica which is going to give you some great benefits in your skincare routine i love this and i think it's one of the best in the korean skincare market now i would have said it was the best until i discovered this this is the numb buzzing pure full calming water sunscreen now if you like the skin 1004 one try this out honestly it's like next level good impossibly lightweight so calming and soothing on the skin. It feels absolutely beautiful. And like no other Korean sunscreen you've ever tried. I absolutely love it. You get a really precise applicator, which I think is great. It's artificial fragrance free and you can keep it in the fridge for like the ultimate cooling. This oh, is like a revelation. Absolutely gorgeous on the skin. And I mentioned it in a video about two, three weeks ago. And I know a lot of you guys bought it on the back of that and were like, wow, like honestly, speechless on first application it is that good I'm, I'm wearing it today it definitely definitely gives a little hydration but feels impossibly light on the skin yeah i would have always said shop skin 1004 for your korean sunscreens but recently since i discovered this i think i might have just changed my mind and this might be my firm favorite but that skin 1004 still absolutely amazing so in third place we have the dr jat color corrector um this again i think is on this list because it went viral on tiktok wasn't on the same list 12 months ago so a new addition and um, claims to be calming soothing hydrating but give you like the perfect color correction there are some before and afters google this product and I'm, like before and afters and you'll really see the difference that it can make i was so hyped to try this when i saw like, the before and after i was like yeah i want to get this in my skincare routine and try it out unfortunately it broke me out really badly and um, if you look at some of the ingredients in there, that's not actually that surprising. A lot of ingredients in here which could cause skin congestion and breakouts if you're already susceptible to them. I think if you've got a acne-free skin and you don't break out, this could absolutely be an amazing addition. But for me, it was a hot mess. So I actually gave it away to a friend who is really, really enjoying it. So definitely got its favourites and its followers. For me, no, it was just Breakout Central. What I actually use instead is this. This is the Autograph Luminosity Liquid Radiance. So this is actually by Marks & Spencers, which is a department store here in the UK, Ireland, across most of Europe, I think you can get Marks & Spencers. But they do also sell online, so I will link it. This, this is my favourite, and a little goes a long way. I've had this like 12 months. I probably should get a new one, but it doesn't break me out. Gives a nice touch of colour correction, little luminosity, and it's packed full of vitamin E, so it's hydrating, and it gives some antioxidant protection too. Really good. And I paid £14. So it's like cheaper than the Dr. Jart one, and I love it. You just get a nice little glow up on the skin. The more you use, the glowier you end up. Um, but I'd say whilst it's not like a full colour corrector, you know, eliminates any redness, it lets your natural skin shine through, and it just gives you that luminosity, which I think we all crave, and cheats a good skin day. You can mix it in with your moisturiser if you want to use it all over the skin. I tend to just use it on the cheeks, where I like a little glow, but it's super natural, and here you'll see it in its most extreme, because obviously I've got ring lights shining on me, so you see it in a more extreme version. In natural light, it just gives you that little bit of glow up, and I know so many people that use this. Colour correct, highlight, illuminate all at the same time it's just a really nice product and i just say use the smallest amount like literally that is enough you work it in oh, yes <laughs> yes it is so good it's cruelty free as are all max expensive skincare products and it's really affordable so that's my color corrector I prefer it to the dr jack because it doesn't break me out but dr jack yes that's third on this list so Fourth, we have another Korean sunscreen that I'm going to skip over a little quickly because this would actually be third in my list after that non buzzing one and the Skin 1004. In fourth place is the Beauty of Joseon Rice Relief Sunscreen. Love this. I, I still do. Still a great formulation. Um, and before all of you roast me in the comments, because I know, you know, it's almost impossible to change your mind or maybe find something you prefer more without someone roasting you in the comments like, oh, change your mind, fake, whatever. Um, 
I just think over time our opinions evolve and also we try new things and it's always about like I think sunscreens are really evolving at the moment and there's lots of change in the industry which is why a product like the Beauty of Joseon Rice Relief that was my favourite 18 months ago might not be my favourite now. Still a great formulation and let me know in the comment section if it's still your holy grail because it's a really really gorgeous sunscreen. Um, I just think that Skin 1004 one with the pump, I like the applicator and the numbers in, just so much more lightweight. Those pip it to the post but I kind of understand why it is in this list because I know a lot of people tried it and it was a revelation, myself included. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Now in fifth place, we have the Axis Y Spot the Difference Blemish Treatment. So this kind of came out of nowhere. <laughs> this hadn't heard of this 12 months ago, and now everyone's talking about it, loving it, and clearly buying it because it's now fifth in the best-selling Korean skincare list. Um, I haven't personally tried this beyond a sample that I got from the store, so I will caveat that. The ingredients look nice, and this is badged as being a super gentle blemish treatment, so it's not going to cause any redness, sensitivity, irritation, but over time will minimise any breakouts and any congestion that you have in the skin. If you look at the ingredients, it's got a touch of tea tree, which we all know has been used for millennia to cure any breakouts that people have. It's also got some camphor leaf in here, which can act in a similar though different way to sulphur and kind of minimise acne causing bacteria on the skin, reduce inflammation and also tackle redness. So I think this has definitely got ingredients in here which are going to deliver but I guess my biggest concern with this is it might just be too gentle. You know I think it's always about finding a balance. Korean skincare is known for being super gentle and that's great. It's not all about going in with the highest concentrations for maximum results but I also think you need to offset that with not going for something that's so gentle you barely get any results. It's finding that middle ground. For me if I look at the ingredients I think this will be a step back for me in terms of my own journey with acne. I'm already using products and ingredients that are a little bit more active and actually deliver without causing me too much irritation. But if you've got a breakout and you have super sensitive skin and you kind of don't know where to begin, I think this could be a really, really great product. Definitely going to deliver and I think it feels so nice on the skin. It's, yeah, it's super lightweight. So, Great for beginners, super sensitive skin, people that are intimidated by any of the other acne treatments. But I think for anyone that's experimented with other products, this might just be a step back. Though that, of course, is just my opinion only. Now, finally, in sixth position on this list, we have the Laneige Lip Sleeping Masks. Now, I think the reason that this is so high on the list is they do like 40 different versions of it now. And I think these retailers have lumped all of them together. So if someone's bought 12 of them, that counts as 12 units, which is why it's so high on this list. I'm <laughs> not the biggest fan. The reason I said to you earlier in the video, do you want me to film like part two and look at some products that are further down on this list? It's because the ones that are further down on the list are my personal favourites. I feel like quite a few in this top six I don't think are actually the best that the market has to offer. And Laneige, definitely an example of that. Now, if you love their lip sleeping masks, keep on using them. For me though, I don't think they add a lot of hydration. I think as a brand, they overpromise and they under deliver. You know, it's says to be like an overnight sensation for the lips. And I actually woke up with quite dry lips when I tried this. So clearly it wasn't really doing a whole lot. Laneige aren't a cruelty-free brand, which is the main reason I no longer purchase from them. Though of course, that's gonna depend on you and what you're looking for in terms of skincare. But for me, that's a turn off. I'm not the biggest fan of the level of hydration it gives. And there are so many different scents and flavors to them. I think a lot, of the colorants and the fragrances and the scents that they put in them could potentially irritate the lips further. So for me, no. Th this isn't where it's at in terms of lip products. There are lots of really great ones on the market, but yeah, I think it's a shame that this is the best seller in the Korean skincare world. I got so frustrated with the Laneige lip sleeping mask and I tried them. I tried them time and time again and always my lips would end up drier in the morning than when I went to bed. It clearly wasn't doing anything for me. I got so frustrated that in the Laneige and in generally that the quality of the lip bar market that I actually created my own. I created the Mad About Skin Nourishing Lip Conditioner and I took out all of the things that could potentially irritate the skin. Things such as the fragrances, the dyes, you know, eucalyptus, menthol, all the things that often we find in our lip products and actually whilst they give you that immediate relief in the long term just strip and dry the skin further which is why you get into that cycle of always having to reach for a lip balm the more you use it the more you have to reach for it and brands kind of suck us in like that so I just wanted to use really amazing ingredients such as some waxes some emollients some wonderful hydrators and humectants in here to create a product that really just seals all that in you'll only need to use it twice a day not that reapplying during the day it lasts that long 
on a morning than before you go to bed. And after about two weeks, you'll probably find you're not reaching for it much at all because it's done its job. It's healed the lips. It's given you that beautiful smoothness and that hydration. And then you just kind of use it as and when you need to. It's also a universal balm. I use it on my dry elbows, on my knees. I can use it under the eye if you want to do a little slugging but don't want to reach for Vaseline. Yeah, it's all around. And it's actually buy one, get one free at the moment. So if you want to take advantage of that, put two in your basket. When you check out, you'll find that one of them is zeroed off and completely free. If you buy four, two of them are free. That's kind of how it works. Anyway, I've linked that in the description box below if you want to take advantage of that. But just put two in your basket and one of them will be free. And that offers only running for like the next two days if you did want to take advantage. But yeah, I think there's better lip balms, whether you go for mine or any of the other high quality ones on the market. I think there's better ones than Laneige personally. So further down on this list, we had some great brands. We had Maylove, which I know is a super popular one. We had some Etude House, which again, I know is super popular. Crave Beauty, lots of other options. So let me know if you'd like to see a part two of this. But yeah, these are the six best-selling skincare products in the Korean skincare world. Am I impressed with all of them? Absolutely not. And I think this goes to show that best-selling doesn't always mean best-performing. But I'm glad to see that that Skin 1004 product is in there, a really great option. Beauty Jokes on Sunscreens, great. And that Axis Wide Blemish Treatment, Good if you have very sensitive skin and want to tackle your acne. So yeah, I don't think all is lost. Let me know your thoughts below and wherever you are in the world, guys. Stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.